Hey y'all, Ariel here. Welcome back to my channel. I can barely move my mouth because the glitter and the glue. But anyways, well not glue but lipstick. Anyways, I did this Aladdin Genie inspired type of look but glamified and I feel like this came out really really good. This is my first time actually putting face paint on my body y'all and it came out so freaking pretty. I have a lot of dimension and everything. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on a lower light so you can see all the full details. I did add some little diamonds and some glitter on my lips as well as right here and right here. I have Airy Winkle lashes in the style Whoop De Whoop on. And yeah, I put this braided wig on because I just felt like it would give that illusion as if like I had the genie ponytail in the ball. Anyways, I put a little um, bracelet right here and I put these earrings on. I just felt like these earrings went well with the look. I was not going to do my hands y'all because it's currently 1.40 a.m. And I got to take some pictures so I can take this off. Hopefully this comes off. It's the cream paint. But um, I might have some blue hues on my face after I do this. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween Genie inspired makeup tutorial makeup look. And yeah, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below a blue heart if you guys enjoyed it. And a Genie. So yeah, let's get into this video. 10,000 years will definitely give you a crick in the neck, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start off by, I'm so corny. I'm gonna start off by grooming my brows and I'm gonna take the NYX Professional Lift and Snatch Brow Pen and we're gonna go ahead and draw the brows. I could have actually did blue, but I want my brows to be on the natural side because everything else is gonna be blue. Like we're giving very much so blueberry. I had so much fun creating this makeup look for you guys and it was definitely a vibe. I was watching Aladdin as I did this look and Jeannie was definitely my favorite character. Comment down below your favorite character from Aladdin. And Aladdin is actually one of my favorite Disney movies like Ugh, I just love everything about it, okay? So now I'm going to take the Lawless. This is basically a skin moisturizing, like a plumping moisturizing lotion. And I just put it all over. This was my first time using the face paint, y'all. Even though I'm uploading Jenny as one of the, the last Halloween looks. Anyways, I didn't know if the face paint was going to like really attach itself to my skin so i wanted to make sure that it has something to hug on to so just to be safe i just applied this moisturizer so i made sure to rub it all the way in and it was taking me a little second because i kind of added too much of this moisturizer so a little bit definitely goes a long way so now i'm gonna go ahead and sculpt my brows y'all i was so 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 nervous because i'm like okay we got to do it, Ariel. <laughs> I was like, okay, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And I did it, okay? So I wanted this to be very dimensional. I wanted this to have a lot of ombre. I wanted this to be very, very just, okay, Ariel, I see the colors. I see the blends. I see what you did there. That's what I was trying to give, okay? So I scoped everything out. Like, I did such a great job with this like i turned myself blue y'all literally charlie didn't matter if i was genie if i was aladdin or jasmine the brows they were going to be snatched okay and i definitely did that like i do not play about my brows y'all i play about a lot of things but my brows ain't one of them okay so right here i was getting a little nervous a little skeptical because again y'all this was my first time like this was the first night of me actually doing the face paints and i'm like okay it's a little transparent it's a little opaque on me why is it not what is it okay like am i using the product right i kept blending and blending i tried to make sure that i was light-handed because yeah but i feel like it was okay for the bottom because i was going to add eyeshadow but as far as the top portion right here it was it wasn't given this color right here just was not trying to work with with my melanin i don't know what it was but like I just wasn't feeling it but luckily i had the darker shade that i'm gonna use all over my face and that did the job for me
So as you can see, y'all, I kept trying to work with that specific blue shade. And you see how it kind of gave me like some patchiness. Like I can still, it's like see-through in a way. I can still see my melanin peeking through the blues. And I was like, uh-uh. So then I was like, no, we're still going to fight it. Let's just blend it out first. And as you can see, it's like literally soaking into my beauty blender. Beauty blender from Airy Winkle, by the way, okay? $6. You cannot beat that. And it's one of the best beauty blenders you're going to ever have. Stop playing with me. But y'all see how like... I don't ill. I, I don't like that, okay? So I went in with an even darker blue. And that one, yeah. She was that girl. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. I had to test it out because I was like, uh-uh now. Cause I know how to do a little blending. Why is it coming out like that? But this color right here, she was my best friend, okay? People let me tell you about my best friend. She was my best friend, okay? She got the job done. She got me right. And this was actually the perfect shade for Jeannie anyways. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, so now look. Look at this part right here. This blue did everything that I needed it to do. I don't even see no melanin no more. Like, that was the ultimate goal for me to really transform. I can't transform if the paint is trash. And this came from the same palette, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they didn't add enough pigment or what to that blue shade but it was not mm -mm, it was not given at all okay so we're just gonna tap 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 pat 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 swiping no swiping and i blend everything out y'all i ended up throwing this beauty blender in the trash okay because who about to um, mm -mm, i'm not about, no i'm not about to clean this out nope nope and nope i have plenty of others i'm not about to waste my time <laughs> no ma'am i was not about to do it okay <laughs> so now i'm just gonna go in with this smaller brush from morphe and we're gonna blend those two blues out we do not want it to be just separation and as you can see you could kind of see an ombre now instead of you seeing where it stops and starts we want everything to just glide together like i would do with the normal makeup um tutorial it's the same concept okay so i drug that blue down to my neck and chest area i was gonna actually paint my entire like upper body but then i was looking at the time and i was like mm -mm, no ma'am no him and no turkey so i just did majority of the upper chest part and i put a blue top on with the collar yeah <laughs> that was a whole lot a whole lot of y'all mm -mm. no ma'am no ham no turkey and i stained my brushes y'all but it's okay so i took that same blue shade that we use for the brows and i also used the p louise paint and i allow this to sit before i blend everything out just so it can have that like coverage i didn't want it to like lift up the paint underneath it and i just blend ever so slightly just to make sure that i didn't disrupt anything i also put some of the p louise paint on my nose area just to give me a little contour a little snatch keep in mind this is a glam genie so yeah we just added some extra dimension and we're gonna add some eyeshadow some little charms a little bit of glitter 
I had so much fun creating this look, y'all. Like, it was just, it was so refreshing to kind of step out my norm. And I sent all my little Halloween pictures to my friends, and they were like, Ariel, you did that. Like, yeah, you stepped out your comfort zone, and you crushed it. And I'm so happy, y'all. So now I'm going to take the Airy Winkle, the Fruity Cutie palette, and I'm going to use that light blue shade as my setting powder basically and if you guys wanted to do this step for avatar you could as well because that's what i was kind of i was contemplating on if i wanted to finish with genie or just do avatar because i had the braided wig in my head and i'm like okay well i could do either or but like genie was literally calling my name because it's rare that you see genie like everybody does avatar and i didn't want to do the makeup looks that everybody else was doing i just you know i wanted to be in my own little zone my own little lane and yeah genie won my heart because why not So as I'm doing this tutorial, I'm still learning and I learned how to use the oil-based paint. This is oil-based paint that I'm using and I just locked it in with my eyeshadows. So you don't always have to use just the transparent powder. Like kick it up a notch and use a powder or an eyeshadow color that coincides with the paint that you used so i used a light blue paint so i'm going to use a light blue eyeshadow if i use a dark blue paint i'm going to use a dark blue eyeshadow and then i'm going to ombre it with a blue shade in between to give it more dimension so yeah this wasn't frustrating at all because the blues really did its big one on my melanin complexion like this was an easy color to use because it's close to melanin, if that makes sense. And I ended up adding some hues to my face with this kind of pinkish purple shade. And even if you wanted to do Blue's Clues, y'all, you could do Blue's Clues with this. Like, there's so many, like, endless possibilities, literally. So, I took the P. Louise paint and it's like this super duper light blue shade. And I just kind of carved out a fake cut crease. And so now I'm going to take the Juvia's Place, the Candy Shop Collection eyeshadow. And I'm going to take that shimmer shade as my highlight. And I also put some of the Airy Winkle Blue eyeshadow on the lid. I kind of just went with the flow when it came down to the eyes. I wasn't trying to do too, too much. But I still wanted that 3D effect. So I went in with some dark blues some light blues a little bit of glitter and i didn't do a wing because it wasn't needed and so right there i added some shimmer just to give a little razzle dazzle and then i went in with a darker blue just to kind of smoke it out and then i put some of my believe beauty in the shade caviar the liner to smoke my under eye out and i just went back and forth with different shades of blues just to give me a more smoked out look i'm using my lashes from airy winkle and i think it's the style whoop de whoop if i'm not mistaken i was gonna actually sell this blue lipstick y'all on my website but i ended up not doing it and i just had it laying around and i'm like okay i'm gonna use this blue for a makeup tutorial one day i'm not gonna throw it away and here we are like <laughs> it's coming together we're looking like a blueberry okay but trust the process i'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with some mascara from milk makeup boom i didn't really keep tally of the products that i used y'all like i was literally going with the flow so forgive me i had this blue glitter and i was like let me add some extraness to this look because i felt like the lip was just there it was standing out a little too much so i ended up putting the glitter on my lips and i feel like that really it gave it that touch okay and i needed a little more motivation so i started listening to my music y'all <laughs> I love Big X, y'all. Like, uh, Big X, Mo3, Dolph. I 
already told y'all, like, I literally, that's my type of music, though. Like, I love my old school, my new school, my in-between, and everything like that. But I like to vibe whenever I do my makeup. So, that's why I do a lot of voiceovers. Like, I have to get in the zone, especially for looks like this, because it, it requires concentration, literally. So, I ended up adding some little gold charms I got from Amazon. I also added a little bit of glitter on my lower lash line as well as above the cut crease and yeah y'all it be so difficult to put these um little charms on sometimes all right you guys so this is the completed look i had to do a talk through because i had to really focus and on top of that my sd cards are full to the max okay so <laughs> yeah i couldn't really talk but hopefully you guys got the gist of what i did this was super fun super duper easy to do it didn't take me long i'll say it took me maybe two to three hours two hours and a half maybe and yeah this came out really really pretty oh i look so crazy i like a blueberry <laughs> i can't even move my lips y'all but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know down below in the comment section what what let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are gonna be for halloween and yeah i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all